Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Grandia. We picked up the Leaf Shield in the last episode, which was, uh, uh not really an upgrade. Uh, I mean, it had some slight bonuses, but nothing fantastic about it. Let's go ahead and grab this money. I mean, it gave plus two poison resistance, which isn't bad. Um, uh, but no increase in defense for Rap. Sweet moths. Glad that uh, Rap gets to go first. Um, I think that one is more likely to get us all uh, three enemies at once. Let's perhaps go with something a little bit slower. Hundred million degrees. Take that. Nope, just two of them. Damn it. really not much that uh, I need you to cast, so I guess we'll just do that. Oh, wind twist like a tornado. I don't think I've heard her say that one. There are apparently more uh, blow, blow. more spellcasting comments than uh, I realized. Sorry, guys. <laughs> It didn't actually hurt us. Maybe because it killed the enemies first? I don't know. I'm good with that, though. Alright, let's see. Yeah. I th no, I think I do want to go up here. Yep, some more money. Grab that. I think there might be some more money down this way. Yep. And there's one of these things. Okay. And here comes a uh, giant pupa coming to attack us. Huge pupa. Go ahead and use your mist hide. Everyone attack! <laughs> Three hits! Who got the killing right, blow? We won. Justin did! Well, he's almost uh, getting a level in uh, knife. Another battle like that, and he will. Alright, I think there is... A Aha! I think there's a new enemy up there, too. A mage seed. But where are you? That's not what I wanted. It was a different enemy. I want to kill the, d the new enemy. New enemies deserve to be murdered. That is a fact of life. There we go, dagger level up. Excellent. All right, we won. But I'll also want to pull out some uh, stuff like a sword for uh, him to get some training on as well uh, when we get to town. Holy cow, there's a lot of these huge pupas around. What have I done? Not that it's that big of a deal. I miss the, uh, miss the, the disc one battle music, though. I really do. Um, Dragon Cut, I think. Let's just eliminate you quickly. Dragon King Slice! Slice! 
Seems good. What a cinch. I'm pretty sure you can get to uh, triple digits on digits on SP. Hello. Oh, that's gonna be a uh, ambush, isn't it? No, apparently not. Even though he went through us. No, don't do a dizzy gas. That's a no. Let's go ahead and let Rap get the uh, kill on this thing. Or, you know, not. Alright, fine. Justin will get the kill. That's what you get, Rap. Can't kill it. So underleveled compared to us. wonder where that uh, enemy that I spotted was. I would like to kill him. I would really like to kill him. Now, Justin, don't not kill it, please. Kind of disappointed in you, Justin. I need to check to see what weapon increases wit. Oh, I bet it's a sword, isn't it? Yeah, I think I need to. I, I need to get Rap trained up with the uh, sword pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. Wit plus two uh, for the sword. So that he just moves faster, because, I mean... Well, actually, he's got a bit higher wit than uh, Fina. Interesting. Eh, whatever. Alright, where is that enemy? I saw you up there. There you are! What the hell are you? Chameleon! Yeah, you can go ahead and burn some of them. Fina can do a fire whip. Fire whip's gonna go off first. Whip level up. They are not taking much damage at all. Let's see what they take from uh, explosion. Dragon King slice. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, what slows them down? Uh, I don't think you have much that slows down. Let's go ahead and, and put Speedy on uh, Rap, though. Please protect us! This might be a little bit of a longer fight. 
which is actually pretty nice. And I want, yeah, reduce, oh, that's one enemy. Freeze action of all enemies. Feel the power of ice. Oh, eh, it looks like I might not be able to slow them down. Let's go ahead and do a mist hide. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and try that. I have a feeling that's not going to work on them. No, it did. Okay. Just go after this uh, close by one. Feel the power of ice. I have a feeling that's not going to work, though. Nope. And... I think they don't take damage from uh, water or ice. We're going to do a tail attack. Actually, that shouldn't work. What else do I have? I'll try that. Alright, so Rap's not going to be able to, uh, uh, just actually attack, which is a little bit unfortunate. Yep, you can get up to, uh, 100, uh, skill points. Uh, three-digit skill points. That's good. Cannot get up to three digits for MP, though. What else do I have that might work? Well, I can try... I'll go, just go ahead and burn strike one of them. Let's uh, go ahead and have Rap try burning that one. Hundred million degrees, take that. Probably, well, it might kill. Yeah, it did. Okay, that's enough. Probably not going to be able to deal. Yeah, can't deal damage. Justin can though. Taking quite a bit of damage here. Alright, so all that Rap can do is burn and uh, mist hide. Which is okay. I was planning to talk to people in town after this, but I'm not going to have a whole lot of time for that. These guys uh, have quite a bit of uh, magic resistance. taking a little bit of damage, so I might as well use that. I need to get the skill up anyway. And then I take some more damage. Not why, I'm not sure why Fina's taking zero. Alright, well, I'm still gonna just go kill this guy. Still a pretty good group to fight for uh, getting Rap's uh, fire skill up, though, just because we can do this a lot. Hundred million degrees, take that. And then when he runs out, everyone else can just murder him. 
Or I could give him a sword that would do decent okay. damage. Rather than zero. <laughs> Alright, let's just end this. I mean, they're dropping sacks of coins rather than just uh, regular single coins. Holy cow! They're worth 600 gold each. Well, I guess I know where I'm going to get money. I feel kind of bad for Rap there with uh, that pretty crappy uh, um, skill gain. That was not very good. <laughs> I mean, even Fina got a whole crap ton. Almost ready to level up fire another. Not sure if there are more than one group there or not, but... I think we're about done here. I will leave you alone. I think we can get out. I guess we'll fight you, because you're kind of blocking the way. Oh wow, I got ambushed. I think I got ambushed. It's quite rude, sirs. Oh, and you would split your... No, no, actually, they're not, maybe they're not quite split up far enough. Yeah, go after that with the dizzy gas. Oh, no, now they're splitting up. Uh, what could I do? Uh, just attack that one. Alright, you're trying to do dizzy gas. Let's stop that, if we can. Which we can, with teleportation powers. <laughs> well, it was not bad, but whether it was good or not, though. Totally gonna be digging on rap this whole the rest of this game. I'm sure Lethal Feline's gonna be pretty pissed off that uh, we've replaced uh, Sue with rap, though. I'm sorry, Lethal. She is just a kid. Can you really expect a little kid to be uh, coming through the entire game? Well, that is an interesting place to the south, and... The trees to the north do not look very healthy. Let's head to Kafu Village. Hold it, Rap. Who are these people? Ah, uh, didn't Nikki tell you that I've got a couple of guests? We heard that you have guests, but we did—we sure didn't hear about them being short-eared guests. You'd never forget it's against village law to allow outsiders in, would you? After all, you're the elder's grandson. You've known that for ages. Stop moaning. These guys are my guests. That's all you need to know. Okay, calm down, Rap. I understand. All right, I'll trust you. We will consider your guests as our guests. I don't suppose we have a choice since you're so adamant about it. That's right. So would you mind going to hear what my grandpa has to say? Well, first of all, let's head to the Cafu Inn. Hello. You said they could stay at the inn? Are you crazy, Rap? You know we can't let outsiders stay here. <laughs> Look, if I clear it with grandpa, you can't complain, right? Let's hurry over to my grandpa's. Alright, we'll just cancel then. Here's our stashing place. Let's go ahead and stash some stuff. Cookies! Restores 80 hit points to one friend. Yummy! And honey! Restores 100 hit points to one friend. Fresh! All right, now we need to get some stuff for uh, wrap there. Uh, 
All right. Let's get a tree amulet. Uh, actually, I might want the... Where is it? in that list with the other stuff? I don't think I equipped it, did I? Oh, it's up here. Alright, I'll have to look at that. I don't know why it's all the way up here. That's uh, kind of weird. Um, let's go ahead and get him uh, some air sneakers. I'll take a look to see what other actual equipment is uh, worthwhile. Uh, the angel darts are better than the Kafu Shuriken, made of Kafu iron. Um, but I don't really need to get those up. Uh, let's see, sword-wise... Fish sword is good, so we'll take that. And I'll hold off on these... Uh, like the crayons and stuff like that for now. The books. I think the mage seeds will be worthwhile for rap. Um, not sure about the rest right now. Alright, so Mage Seed is 1 MP for levels 1 to 3. Oh, shoot! I just discarded that. That was... Well, shoot. I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's just 1 MP, and, I mean, we'll be capping out level 1 pretty quickly anyway. Um, I'll think about whether I want to reload and redo that. Yeah, I suppose I can. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, I'll be grinding up after this anyway. Alright, let's talk to people. Wow, this is so... This is cool. This is my first time to see outsiders. Hey, where did people come from? Huh? Why'd you come here? Huh? And how'd you get here? <laughs> Slow down. I can't answer so many questions at once. Okay, so how'd you get here? Did you come over here on a ship, maybe? I've been on a real big ship. It's called a steamer. That was pretty awesome. Really? Wow, that's cool. Yeah, I want to ride on a big ship, so too, someday. I did not realize that this would be, uh, taking us someplace else. Let's not go there just yet. I might make this episode a little bit long, just to get all the talking in. Kafu has some strict laws. One of them is no outsiders are allowed in the village. Hey, are you saying my guests can't come into my village? Crap, even you remember the tragedy that befell us when the laws of this village were not upheld? Crap, why do you think we have these laws? Do you want to... Do you want another tragedy to occur? I'm not one of those oldsters, but I also wonder how that suspicious bunch got into our village. Rap, have you lost your senses or something? I won't complain since this is all you're doing. You've always helped look after others ever since you were little. But now you say you like these short-haired types you've brought here. What's the matter with you? They're not with the tower guys. Besides, these guys don't seem too smart, do they? Hey! Hey! I resent that. Is this the, uh... Yep, this is a shop. Well, look, you've got a, a, a short-eared person in that uh, poster up there. Give me a break. Let's see what uh, equipment they have for sale. Um, a sh knife, 
Uh, a shot sword. Ca sudden death. Ooh. Uh, tree root. Unblocks magic in combat. You can buy another Kafu shuriken. A catfish uh, whip. Uh, attacks with water. Snake whip. Poisonous. And a boomerang. Used for hunting. Armor-wise, we have Chain Maul, Combat Attire of Kafu, Chum Armor, May Warp when damaged. Uh, we can buy Le Shields. We can also buy a La Shield, plus one magic power level. A Swallow Hat, which we can buy more of. Uh, Ninja Sandals. And Wing Boots, plus 35 move with wings. And I've got no mana eggs, so I can't uh, get him any more magic. Uh, Irid Amulet. Uh, rainbow colored, pretty. Get black belts. Uh, revives one fallen friend. Valuable. Hmm. Howler Scroll, Zap Book, Gale Scroll, and Tremor Scroll. I might buy some of those. I'll also need to sell some of our old equipment off. Since those strange guys built the Tower of Doom, it's hard to grow houses. Have the spirits left us? Grow houses? Sure, just look over there. In Kafu, we grow fruit till they're big, and then we live in them. For ages, we Kafunians have been growing our houses however we like. It's so convenient. But recently, the fruit has not been growing well. This never happened to us before. I think it must be because of those people in the tower. Oh, Rap, thank you. Aren't you the one who poli polished my sister's stone? Yeah, and there were some pretty good nepweeds, so I left some of those for her, too. She used to like them, didn't she? I remember that, right? Hm. I guess we're about even. Next time, maybe you can go polish my petrified old man. Ew. Sure, but you head out to the petrified forest much more often than I do. You take care of your folk stones and everyone else's. You're really a rather kind young man, aren't you? Oh, come on now. You're embarrassing me. Stop it. Sounds very strange. Outsiders in the village! I hope nothing bad happens. Oh, I've been waiting for you, Rap. I was worried since you didn't come back earlier. Hey, Justin, are you guys going to be in Kafu for a while? You guys sure... You, sh you guys should see how skillful Rap is. He's awesome. Rap is the village's best swordsman. When I look at Nikki, I get reminded of Sue. Nikki's real devoted to Rap, eh? Looks like I gotta try harder if I'm gonna fight against those Lanians. Okay, time to train. I gotta practice. Idiot, you gotta do more than just try. You gotta learn to move more quickly. You gotta quickly approach your enemy and then get him with one blow. That's the only way to do it. Sir, what are you doing in a place like this? I'm waiting till my house is ready. In another six months or so, this fruit is going to be a splendid house. I mean, just look at the color and gloss of that fruit. It'll make one fine house indeed. I can hardly wait. <laughs> I can finally get married to my girlfriend. With a magnificent sturdy house like this, like this one will be, we can live together here forever. You would think that they would rot. Can I climb up? Oh, I can. Oh, all right. There we go. There's a little bit of a delay between when I click it, when I press the button, and when it jumps on, so... I was thinking that it, uh, was not working. Hey, Rap, this is unusual. You got a girlfriend. How'd you get so lucky? Girlfriend? Who, me? Give me a break. She's Justin's girlfriend. They're both my guests. I'm Fina. I'm actually Justin's traveling companion on an adventure. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hello, Fina. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm Rap's friend. My name's Joel. <laughs> look at you turning all red. Why, you little lover boy? Um, anyways, you're Rap's guest. Uh, I knew it would be weird if Rap actually had a girlfriend. Not now, Rap. Maybe later. Would you mind if I went with you to the Petrified Forest? To get there, we gotta cross a forest full of monsters, right? It'd be kind of 
I'd be kind of worried going alone. Haha, <laughs> what a schmoozer. Yeah, sure, you can go with us. <laughs> Thanks, Rep. Thanks, Rep is always so nice about this sort of thing. So what is this petrified forest that you, you're talking about? Hey, you see that wall over there? Rep's shuriken left that mark. Since the village buildings are plants, marks like that heal up naturally. But this one hasn't changed a bit. That's how amazing Rap is with that shir with the shuriken. No one else can leave a mark like that. Stop it! You're making my ears itch. I'm I'm not sure what uh, mark she's talking about. Oh well, whatever. So that was what house six. Gotta remember to maintain your house. You need to give it some water and fertilizer every day. Huh? The houses here in Kafu look just like plants. Look like? Hey, they are plants. We all live in big fruits that we've hollowed out. House, first floor. I bet those friends in the tower have gone and done something to upset the spirits. Oh, those fiends. Something to upset the spirits? Like, maybe they dumped a bunch of poison all around or burned a forest. Yeah, I'll bet they did something like that. And got the spirits so mad that they went away. That's gotta be it. Ah, goddammit. I'm still doing it. Hey, you guys with the short ears, did you really come from the tower? Don't worry, Misha. These guys are important guests. They got nothing to do with the tower. Oh, okay. I was kind of shocked at first. I'm sorry, Rap. I'm sure that any guest of yours has got to be okay. Hey, Rap, do you still go to the Petrified Forest? It's nice that you visit your parents, but you must be careful about going into that forest. Yeah, I know, about, I know all about it, so don't worry. And down we go. I might level up a uh, rap and then talk to the elder. So if you've made it this far and are expecting story progression, I'm going to hold off until the next episode. We can't just use laws to chase outsiders away. But those people we saw in the tower, I don't know what they were up to, but if they came here, it'll be trouble. As villages and forests get turned to stone, we'll have to escape and come here. So we can trust these outsiders? I'm sorry for rap, but I just don't trust them. How can I possibly trust them? With a face like ours, would we possibly be untrustworthy? I'm, I'm hurt. Wow, there's water in this one. Nikki's so lucky. Rap is always looking after him and stuff. I sure wish Rap would play with us some more. Hehe, <laughs> Rap sure is popular, wherever he goes. But next time, Rap's gonna play with us. He promised. Just leave it up to me. Hehe, <laughs> okay. So we'll just play here at this man's place until Big Brother comes to play with us. D did, did this guy say you could? Welcome to my house. I study botany, you know. I'm very un interested in mushrooms right now. This one here latches into your onto your scalp and sends roots into your head to draw out nutrients. Fascinating. Uh, that seems not good. Uh, boy, oh boy, yet another useless research project. Okay, what about this mushroom? If you boil it, it melts the pot. Grill it, and there's a huge explosion. Eat it raw, and you'll be dead. You're dead in a flash. It releases its spores at night, and the spores leave a mess of black mold. So here's a mushroom you can't boil, can't grill, and can't eat. Ha 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 ha! anything there. Okay. Down we go. Let's see, did I go up? I went into that one. I don't think I went into this one. I want my son to be the very best warrior, able to defeat even Rap. 
That's why I go along with him to his training. Today they're working on leg muscles. My son's legs are still a little weak. Basically, he needs more agility. You, even if I do say so myself, don't you think my son is quite handsome? That's why I think if he becomes the best warrior, he'll be the most eligible bachelor in the village. Hee <laughs> hee, that will be interesting to see. My mother says she wants me to be a real good warrior. As her son, I've got to do my best to meet her expectations. It's not easy, though. Hey, you're a young man. How come you got to do what your mother says all the time? Now, I really don't want to disappoint my mother, but no matter, no matter how much I train, I can't get good enough. Well, let's head up. Listen, Rap, I'm afraid that my husband has started up on some weird research again. Again? He sure is into strange stuff. I bet he's coming up with yet another useless invention, eh? Wow, she has only one thing to say. Well, let's see. Crumble one charred newt head first, then gently let the spirits unite. Hey, what you doing? Eh, I heard a voice all of a sudden. Huh? You folks, you could see me? Of course I can see you. You're saying all kinds of weird stuff. Drat, failed again. Hmm. Okay, next I'll burn some Chico leaves and I'll immerse myself in the fumes. So, as I was saying, what are you doing? Can't you tell? I'm doing research on disappearing. You mean like a cloak of invisibility? Cool. If you can figure it out, please teach me. If I could discover the secret of invisibility, just think of the things I could do. <laughs> something tells me he's got something up his sleeve. What, this guy a troublemaker? I don't want to know. <laughs> I like that. It's a little bit more than uh, we normally get with these people. And I do really like it when uh, your other characters will interject like Fina. Long ago, we could sense the spirits. Now we cannot sense them, so we must have laws instead. The forested spirits have protected this village, and will die if we lose the spirits' protection. But we've lost this protection by letting outsiders come and go. That is why we now have a, have a petrified forest. I am not sure what's up there. I'll probably leave some of the uh, other exploration uh, for later. Just try to get everyone to talked to. Hey, you. Yeah, with the short ears. Aren't you with those guys who live in the tower? Yo, don't be rude talking to... Don't be talking rude to my guests. Well, the only other short-eared people I've seen are in the tower. Anyway, don't we have a law against allowing outsiders into our village without the elders' permission? Yeah, that's why we're heading over to the old man's place right now. Got a problem with that? I think I talked to you. No, maybe not. Raph, you've really grown up. It seems you're just as good a hunter as any adult in this village. <laughs> I'm blushing already. It makes my ears itch. No doubt your parents would be very happy and proud if only they had lived to see this. Look, Raph, the wicked curse that turns things to stone came when we lost the spirit's protection. It must be because the spirits were angered when the short-eared people built that tower. Look, that's too complicated for me. The simple fact is that they aren't being allowed in. This village loses the spirit's protection. It'll get turned to stone too, and we'll all die. All right, that does not sound good. We've got a bridge up there. No matter how many times I see the petrified forest, each time it reminds me of my parents and my loneliness. I wonder if maybe this is all a dream. Maybe when I awake in the morning, my mother will say good morning in her ch in her cheerful way. I still can't believe my mother's been turned to stone. It's dangerous, so I shouldn't go, but maybe I'll go see my mother. If my mother gets turned back, she'll be sad if I'm not there beside her. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Hey, Rap, are you okay? Outsiders have gotten into our village. You haven't forgotten how the petrified forest came to be, have you? I would never forget that. These guys have nothing to do with that. We owe them. They saved Nikki. If outsiders wouldn't have come, the whole petrified forest tragedy would not have happened. That is why you cannot agree to allow any outsiders into our village. Creeps, you sure are a thick-headed old fool. 
Okay. We've talked to her. Let's head in here. I won't go out onto the bridge, though. I'll leave that for uh, next time. Uh, uh, hang on, hang on now. What's wrong with you? Ah! What's with your face? It's all swollen and red. Oh, this? Well, you see, on my way back from the petrified forest. Wow, look at that. That's some face you got there. <laughs> Last evening, he was lured by the aroma of honey coming from the trees when walking by. He got stung by bees. When he woke up this morning, his face was like this. This stuff happens on adventures. I, uh, I better be careful, too. Did we talk to a different person? And what if Rap chases those guys out of the tower, then the spirits will come back. Hey, what's wrong with you? You got hurt during training again? Yeah, I want to chase away those tower people as soon as possible. My grandpa says I, I can't go to the tower because it's against the law. But going there is the right thing to do, isn't it? We'll get even, even with those guys sometime. You bet. We're going to band together someday and get rid of those guys. Patients are coming in steady, so I, I'm so busy that I don't even have time to eat. Yeah, you've got a big crowd here. Sure beats having zero customers. Stop talking nonsense. I'm a doctor. You're saying it's good for doctors to be busy? <laughs> Dr. Alma said the same thing. Rap, you went back to the petrified forest, right? And you know what kind of place it is? Once you're turned to stone, even the doctor can't put you back to normal. The children would suffer greatly if ever you were turned to stone. Yeah, I know, I know. But if nobody goes to visit them, won't our petrified friends be lonely? Hmm. God damn it. Keep doing that. Rap, how's the Elder doing? Did they say anything about his condition? Hey, you got nothing to worry about. Worried about his condition? He has one foot in the grave already. This old man won't die even if he was killed. Hehehe. <laughs> You're all bluff, aren't you? I saw how you turned all pale and ran for the help when he collapsed. N no you got it wrong. Uh, I, uh, I just wanted a quick look at how his face looked when he died. That old injury in my left hand is still hurting. Even though it's stone, it hurts. Those lousy evil people who did this... Rap, don't let those outsiders get any closer to me. Huh? What's wrong? These are my guests. They've got nothing to do with your hand. People like them were in the tower. They turned my left hand to stone. So I don't trust any outsiders. This doctor can make me look pretty. First, he changes my hair color to a passionate red. He fixes up my eyes, shapes up my nose, and gives me a dynamite figure. I get giddy just thinking about it. Can Kafu's doctor really do all that? Nope, there's no way he can do all that. Haha, <laughs> I'm going to be reborn. I'm going to look so much better with my hair, my red hair, and my beautiful bod. Hey, Rap. You could get the doctor to turn your friends into Kafunians. Then they won't be outsiders anymore. Can Kafu's doctor do such a thing? No way. All right. I think we'll call it an episode here. I think we talked to just about everyone other than the people who might be in the places that we need to get to by the bridge. And I'm going to go grind up uh, Rap's fire skill and uh, sword and dagger skill a little bit. If I can find how to get back to the inn. Ah, over here. Nope. Over here. Alright, so I'll see you next time, everyone.